Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. We have survived a mechanoid attack and a herd of angry deer. And now we have to clean up afterwards, break down our fortifications, drag in all the, the mechanoid corpses, all the construction materials and all the things like that. We also have a trade party out here. So Brandon, you are, well, you were gonna consume a lavish meal. I'm gonna bump in there and tell you to do something else. Because we need to trade, see what they have before they run away. What do you offer? So you've got some, some great bows for sale and some spears. I don't think we are truly interested in that. Um, medicinal herbs. Well, we have some decent medicine. We have some medicinal herbs. I don't think we need to buy more of that. Um, we are gonna sell you a bunch of our hairs though. Uh, let's see, we have hair six, which is a male. It's a baby male. Uh, we have a grizzly bear for sale and cats. Hmm. I don't think cats are gonna be all that useful here. I did. We should have chickens. And chickens lay eggs and cows and give you milk. I mean, things like hares and, and polar bears, that's, you can eat them. Uh, basically, you can use them to turn the hay you uh, farm into meat. But no, lots of female bunnies, that, that's okay. Uh, more females. Actually, we have two males. I think then that's good. So we're gonna stick with all the bunnies we have. There's nothing to trade with these uh, these folks. That's rather unfortunate. So you can go back to to dinner. It's okay. Let's see. So it's gonna be a lot of walking. You are gonna uh, deconstructing. Deconstruction has a very high priority for for tasks. So, Brandon and Eternal Child are helping with the deconstruction in this case. That, that's also fine. And so, you have been tended to, have you? Yes, you have. Okay, good. So, you're gonna heal. Um, and you are the cleaner, so after that, things are gonna be good. We have Eternal Child and Brandon doing repairs, which is what I was intending. So, they gain experience. And they will get a better at it. Because Dagnesia is level 19. Just. Uh, so, yeah, there's no need to uh, let Dagnesia repair stuff. I think we're done repairing. I will go back to the harvest. Speedo, yeah, you, you remain uh, injured until we get you a new kidney. And for that, we need to. Get some prisoners that we can uh, extract body parts from. Okay, the trade caravan is leaving. Well, they didn't have anything useful for us anyway, so that's okay. Hey, and Enzo is back. So let, let's have a bit of a look. How is everybody feeling now? Ooh, Wemmel is not happy. Um... Oh, you'll get better. You'll get better. Darkness, yeah, is also not happy. But eventually the, the temporary modifiers of the prisoners are gonna go away. Oof, one day. Okay. So, yeah, that's gonna be uh, relatively quick. What's the temperature in here? 8 degrees. That's, that's very nice, actually. Means things are pretty good. So, adding the extra wind turbine. Oh. They are blocking each other. That I was worried about that, but wasn't entirely sure if that would happen or not. So they steal each other's wind. That's basically what it gets down to, which is unfortunate. So it makes me wonder, should I put it vertically then? Or would it be better to move this one and then put a solar cell in between? Hmm. 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 Yeah, X 
actually deconstruct that one, keep this, and then we'll put a solar cell in between. It's going to be slightly more fiddly, but we do have the space for it. Okay, good. Now this is a broken circuit, so we definitely need to act quickly on it. So, sorry, but no time to work on uh, food. And I really am sorry about this, but... We are lacking power. Okay, getting more components. We have 19 of the things, which is good. We bought a couple. Traded for some. Deep is pregnant again. That's, uh, that's one productive bunny. Breeding, like, well, a bunny. And our power generator is back up, which is good. Because that helps us keep this in, in slightly non-frigid circumstances. Poor mood, that's... Ooh, okay, that's probably because I've pushed Darknesia too far. Indeed, sorry Darknesia. But it was necessary. It was definitely necessary. Otherwise we would lose our harvest. Okay, daytime's kicking in. We are generating more power than we are using. Well, sort of, kind of. Yeah, we are getting to it. Okay, we're storing power again. Good. Ah, and now we are indeed just building up a small surplus. We are almost not generating any power from the from the wind turbine. Solar is doing great, however. So we are storing decently. And hopefully that will allow us to last a little bit into the night with our heat generator. Though I have to admit I'm very tempted to just put the second heater in just to more quickly boost our temperature because now it's it's a slow arduous process and we definitely can do better especially because we do have the power during the day it just needs to hit 20 and stay there no excuse the hair is pregnant oh wow that's one of the one of the the juveniles is now a, an adult we are gonna get so many bunnies now but so many adult female bunnies I think there's gonna be bunny stew in the menu quite often traders from Clownstown so that means we need to recruit a Brandon for that and yeah you can finish dragging the boar in and after that you are now gonna trade with Chad over there. Oh, they have more. That's good. So we can get rid of some uh, lower tier stuff. Uh, no, just some, some low quality. Let's scan for that first. Does anyone happen to have a kidney? Maybe. Overpriced medicine. I'll take it. You got huskies. Um. And you have, oh, you have slaves. We might want to get another person in the colony. You have beer. Well, we can brew our own. Anything else we can sell? Uh, some, some shoddy stuff. Might as well get rid of it. Then we'll keep the, the higher quality poor stuff. Yeah, for the rest it's, it's okay. Oh, hey, sniper rifle, charge rifles. Nah, it's all good. Let's have a look at the people. Oh, you got uh, scars. That means you're always in a little pain. You're a steadfast brawler. Uh, you do have a little bit of passion for a lot of things, but nah, not what I want. And over here, you are a cold lover that's steadfast. So, better mental break threshold can't research you can't craft that's unfortunate you're passionate about constructing animals and growing and a mining Oof, you have a, a lot of physical issues yeah you're not worth getting <sighs> wait it's okay so they're maybe a little bit expensive for let's say a kidney that's yeah we'll have to wait for that we will have to wait for that. 
Okay, a very small trait, but well, sometimes small traits are good enough as well. Okay, we are getting our second heater up, that's good. It's targeting 21. Let's get it to 20 to make it go. Ah, let's keep it at 21. Oh, 20, 21. It's gonna heat up rather rapidly now. We're still generating more power than we use, which is good, though it's going towards the end of the day, so our power generation output is gonna go down. But at least we have two heaters to uh, heat things up a little bit. Speedo, what are you doing? You're holding dough. Yep, that's good. And so, ditto. So, a 90% efficiency in walking. That's it. So, you, that's your left big toe. That, that's the entire reason, that's 10% movement speed. Because it just hurts with every step you take. Every move you make. So, should we give you a bionic limp? Or do we keep that for when someone truly loses a limb? I think for now we'll just hang on to it. You're relaxing socially. You are dragging a scyther. Not gonna change your mind just before it, right? No, good. Good, good. Okay, it's 8 in the evening and we still have battery. That is the nice thing here. And the temperature is at 20. So we can maintain this for quite a bit. And hopefully have a little bit of a... A buffer. Also, it does help that we are generating a lot of power with the wind turbine right now to keep the, the battery topped up and keep the lights on. The plants are all resting, so they don't even need the light, but it does work pretty darn well. It would be really nice if you can put these things on the timer. Oh, the, if you have the sunlights on from like say 6 in the morning till 8 in the evening, just cover the entirety of the day, but not have them on during the night, because it doesn't really work that way. Oh, we still have our turrets on, have we? Yeah, that's causing havoc in our main base. Uh, if someone's gonna flick the switch, then we'll be in a better shape. Okay, Eternal Child flipped it, so we, we should be good. Well, actually, no, it's just a little bit of wind and that's all the power we have. Let's turn on the generators. Could you... Oh, uh, darkness is already doing it. That's okay. That's okay. So we generate a bit more power for ourselves and hopefully we'll keep the lights on. Book it, Trader. Good, good. Uh, in the morning we'll have a chat with them. So we'll accelerate the time. And work with it, okay. Temperature is hovering at about 10. It's not perfectly warm, but it'll suffice. And now that it is light again, we can turn these off and work with it. So you know, once you're done eating, you are gonna call the trades people. Let's see what they have for us. They have a whole bunch of discounted woods. They have some beer. Uh, we have different types of stone, so where are you mostly using slate? We do have a little bit of lime and granite. We could sell that. No, just to get rid of uh, these small piles. Um, we do have a little bits of hops. They have a lot of hops. We could make our own beer that way. Steel. Hey, uranium. We can... Well, it's considered to be poor. That's not really useful. We'll wait for someone that actually values it better. Gonna spend another arm and a leg on medicine. Pretty expensive, but... Can't make it. At least not an Alpha 13. Okay, uh, leather. We're gonna sell the leather that we only have low stacks of to make it no easier on our storage. Because we do... We're still drowning in. I mean, we're skinning animals left and right. So we're drowning in fur and cloth and all kinds of other things that we can make clothing out of. So we are actually making some, some massive bank on this uh, relatively small amount of trumbo fur. It's really good stuff, but it's also oh, good for money. 
we let's see we are not gonna sell our stuff here well on the other hand oh again we could just make some some money here this is really relatively low value probably because it's just mostly expired so we could just free up some storage space for that same for these uh, low value berries some rice here we also have rice that's about twice as expensive so again this has just been out lying out there basically just rotting away corn similarly so we've got good quality corn berries and we'll get rid of these potatoes as well there's some rhino meat spell peat meats we were making kibble out of that but they also have kibble chocolates mm -mm. Chocolate makes people happy. We can do with some happiness right now. So that's that's. I'm not gonna buy it all. Let's just buy a hundred. Yummy, almost there. Yes, we got it. One hundred chocolates. Packaged survival meal. Well, people don't really like eating it. Might as well sell it. We more prefer the the lavish meals. And now we have some more expensive bunnies. How many males do we have? We got two males, that, that's good. We have a gazillion females, which are gonna make even more babies. So it's gonna be good. Ooh, a rooster. You need a chicken with a rooster, otherwise it's not really gonna be helpful. But we can just buy one. Oh, just get one rooster. Then if we on the next trade happen to come across a chicken then at least we have our egg producing thing already pigs and sows we could start that we could we make a big animal farm out of it but for now i think this is going to be it so we're going to get a lot more silver from them and another animal so we need to assign the rooster to the livestock and then that's gonna be that. Trade caravan is gone, but we already traded with them, so that's good as well. We're teetering a little bit with the with the power here. Uh, that's of course because we got all the other doors. We also have the the heaters and all the stuff, all on the same circuit. So should we, in hindsight, should we just put these doors on the main circuit? I think we should. So let's do some deconstruction. Power circuit, deconstruct, deconstruct. Because it turned out that, oh, it was a nice idea to have it on the same circuit, but it does drain power. And it just makes things a bit messy. Uh, actually, what if we just pull it through the wall? So this way, this is self-contained. There's going to be three doors that won't be draining 50 watts each. So that's 150 less watt of drainage on here. So we have more power and more reliable. Most especially the door is going to be more reliable because the power of the main circuit is way more is just better supplied than this temporary circuit. Even though leaving the guns on during the night was not the most brilliant of ideas I've had. Okay, slowly building up heat again. Yeah, um, one of the next, after we're done with the, the power circuits. We have already done that, what? I just overlooked that, good. So that means we're now we're gonna replace walls. We're gonna replace walls with proper uh, proper balls rather than temporary balls. Got with two people that I can actually mine. We have Eternal Child and Darknesia. Well, there's a fairly high priority, so they'll be working on this. And the upside is also going to be that it's going to be nicer to look at. Let's see. Stone of the moment is going to be sandstone. 
So we can, once this is all mined out, we're gonna put sandstone in here and be happy with it. It's gonna be a couple of chunks which are gonna be useful. Slate, oh, we need more slate, that's good. Currently we only have sandstone here and I would do prefer to work with slate because it's nice and black. Solar generator, someone is gonna fix that. One of our non-miners, oh, we are done here. The whole stuff, we queue up a new... What do we have enough slate here? I think we might. 87, that's gonna cost 70. So that, that works. That works pretty darn well. Okay, you're both really tired after a hard day of work. I can completely sympathize. Book trade good. Trader is gone. We are still fixing this in the nick of time. 20 degrees there. It's actually warmer in our greenhouse now than it is in our main base, but we are fixing that. That's okay. Also, the beauty from this is not entirely surpassing this amount of... Uh, ugliness that we have here. I hope that adding the balls is going to fix things. Let's see, beauty. Negative 0 0.63. We'll see once the wall is done there if it's going to be slightly better. It is a more wealthy room. Ah, yeah. So the cleanliness also helps, but nope, overall the beauty is going to go up slightly here. So I think we'll be good. We'll be good. And once this is done, we, we need more we need more steel. We um, need more stone. So crafting. Wemmel and Eternal Child, you are crafters. What are our bills? Did we suspend it? Yeah, we suspended this. So this is our, you can use a sandstone. This is our, you can use slate. And then over here is you can use whatever you want, as long as you make more, st st more stone blocks. So that's good. So Eternal Child's now gonna be crafting, which is good. So once we have, let's say, another 100 slate or so, we'll uh, look at upgrading a couple more walls. On the other hand, this is just some uh, some slate and we can just uh, finish that up. That one as well and that one as well. We can do a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit everywhere. And one more, good, good. Then tell this block of stone to be hauled. That's gonna go back into the stone cutting. Power is slowly building up. Temperature is 15. Uh, wait, we did have a couple at 15, a couple at 18. Maybe we should just... Uh, Bump those as well. So we're just gonna reset everything to 21. Just make it 21. We we have enough power. Might as well make it comfy. We have the, the coolers to force it down as well. Hmm. Okay, that that case. Let's target 20. So I think people will start complaining once it gets too cold or too hot. So And so what are you doing? You're cleaning rubble. Uh, yeah, that is because of course this is still considered to be part of our home base. Well, while we don't. So I'm just gonna tell you to hold all the steel and stop fussing too much. Well, at least good that you thought of it, I guess. Anything else that's accidentally part of our home area, but we don't really care about it. Um, yeah, might as well just extend this a little bit and then we clear 
over there. Expand it over there. Like so. No, it's, it's, it's a bit spacious, but I think it'll work. Let's go for a little less space here as well. So. Okay, and we're holding stuff around. How are we in terms of materials? We are drowning in silver, so we can make pretty decent purchases now. We have a fair amount of steel. Oh, we have been mining and uh, working on stuff, of course. Um, Eternal Child is now working on sandstone, just producing the stone we have. There's some slate in here. I think we have mostly sandstone in our supply, which is why that is what we are working on. Also think that this is just gonna drain our supplies and then we need to mine more. Because most of the stuff we have here, have here is just slag rather than stone. Which we will need to turn into metal as well. So what's our eternal child up to with crafting? Because no, this is a good way to exercise it. Uh, is at four? Wemmel is at nine, but of course Wemmel is our master chef. Doing a pretty good job there with uh, eleven. And definitely keeping our fridge stocked up with lavish meals. So once you're not cooking, Wemmel, what are you doing? So then you hunt or craft. Okay. I can accept that. And after that, you start hauling. But no, there's always more cooking jobs to be done. So cook is most of the time. It's just a full-time occupation. So having a look at... Our animals, is the cold not too extreme? Nope, they're all doing fine. So that's very nice. And we have, oh, survived yet another day. Mostly just uh, doing housekeeping, internal stuff. Uh, working on heating the place, getting some, some slate up, covering up some some Cold walls, let's see, it's uh, negative two in here, 17. Oh, we of course have more stone there. So we can mine this little bit, because this room is also 16 degrees, it's pretty good, it's closed off on all sides. So if we replace this, then the direct heat leakage is gonna be better under control. And it's also just a small section, so it's easier to replace with a slate wall than, say, a very large one. Okay, we upgrade that one again. And... Yeah, because then most of the... Of this space has been, well, more beautified. Oh, of course, we have these ugly, ugly, ugly walls. For which we need more stone. But the heat leach leakage should be better. It's cold out here, but it's less cold in here. 18? Yeah, we're pushing up. That's, that's good. That's very good. Speedo has named hair five chopsticks after being nuzzled. That's yet another one that we can't sell because it has a name. Or put in a stir fry. Let's see, how are we in terms of construction material? We have quite some. I think we, initially we had a plan to make a better wall around here as well. Might as well. And just embiggen the storage area a little bit. So, do it like that. Then we can just put some sandstone up there. Because now this is outside of our base, so being just slightly discolored, that's okay. Wemmel is just processing the last bits of rock into stone and that 
course it. So I'm gonna enable the electric smelter so we're gonna turn the slag into steel. And that's gonna get us a lot more steel to work with. Let's see, uh, holding things. Of course this is slate. It's all slate. So all the chunks that are gonna, gonna come out of it will directly be translated into slate walls. I think it, it feels now that, that we have things under control again. Which is oh, some pigskin. Make something out of it or we can sell it. There's some, uh, some slate here. We could just tell ourselves to hold that. Oh, for the people that are completely bored out of their skull. But. Yeah, this is this is eerie. Just how how quiet the quiet periods are in between uh, attacks. But that said, we we have recovered from quite uh, a number of, of really terrible attacks. I mean, we had half our main base burned down in the Great Fire. We've had our walls at the top breached, and we we lost quite some folks to it. As a result, we now have some some defensive uh, emplacement around things. We have multiple entrances into the base. We probably should up set up something like this in the top here, uh, and maybe even have some 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 guns in here to defend against attacks from the top. On the other hand, if we manage uh, our attackers very well, we don't need it as much. Okay, and we're out of power here. Temperature at 17, and it's at 2 a.m., so that's pretty good. This is also nearly done. Let's tell people to hold some more stuff. Work on the final bit. And of course, there's a lot of slate here because we just keep chugging through it. Um, yeah, we're actually not gonna use slate here. We're gonna use sandstone, as I said before. Different shade, but works the same. Um, this is mine. Oh, we can actually just mine all of this out as well. Just turn this into a proper wall. To just lose even less heat. Ooh, thrombos. That's gonna be fun. How many thrombos are here? Two thrombos. The great thrombo hunt. Of the winter of 5504. It started out so nice. Might not end the way we expect. Well, in all fairness, previous Trumbo hunt went way better than expected. Um, so, yeah, they help stick around for a bit. So we'll just wait until everybody is woken up. Let's see, we oh, fueled the generator broke down. Someone's gonna fix that. We did turn on the toggle already, so our guns are powered up and ready to go. But we don't really have a lot of reserves here yet, so let's wait until we are in a good spot. Okay, so we now have more power than we need, so we know the guns are gonna stay up. We're working on just fixing this up. That's very nice. Then this room is gonna probably stay above one degree. Because uh, it's zero out, it's 18 in, so we're gonna leak less warmth through here. But I think for now, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. I think we have most people selected. Yeah, draft you, put you in here. Yeah, see, they were overlapping. So we need one person that is at least fleet of foot, or at least not uh, slow. Let's see, you are good. You are slightly weakened in your arm. That's okay. You also are a medic, so I'm gonna keep you in the back here. So Wemmel, you won the lottery. You can provoke the thrombos. 
Hey, these are other doors, so they open up really quickly. Um, can you shoot them? No, you can't. Of course not. How far do you need to advance? Uh, a little bit. All we need to do is just anger them a little bit. Anger them enough, maybe, is a better word. Yeah. Provoke them, and we run! Run, Rammel, run! We get a uh, Trombo Revenge. The other one is still just standing by. That's very interesting. So likely this is just gonna kill itself on the traps. Uh, doesn't look like that. Okay, I'm sending you over there. Out of harm's way. Ooh, that was almost out of harm's way. How are you doing? Ooh, you're pretty injured. You're melee attacking Darknesia. You know what? I don't think so. Good timing. The Trumbo is dead. D-E-A-D. -E very, very dead. So, you all, uh, let's see, speed up. You, please take some rest. You're not injured. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's your kidney. You're missing one. That was it. Uh, everybody else, though. Brennan is going to be doctoring. Everybody else is recruited back into the army. Okay, so we got four soldiers. We got a Brennan doing repairs. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Just give everybody a little bit of off time. Because this Trombo is not enraged, interestingly enough. Most of the time, oh, you kill one or you attack one, the, the entire herd enrages. This time, well, not, not so much. Um, we can reset all the traps. I think that's part of moving, cleaning. Uh, Wemmel is fully healed, that's good. That means we have everybody back. And we're setting up the traps again. So, well, almost. There is some, some growing stuff to be done. Uh, and we have some stuff here. Hmm. But for now, maybe we should just make everybody whole as number one. Um, including Enzo. It should get everybody running over there to do that. Yeah. So rearming traps as a holding task, it, it feels a bit weird. But well, whatever works. Okay, that's been taken care of. That means we can reduce the priority again. And recruit the everybody back into the army. So you can go over there. Uh, Darknesia, you are standing closest here, so might as well make you be the piñata. You don't have any walking issues, right? No, you don't. You are lacking an eye, so it's a bit hard to accurately hit things. But everything else is fine. Okay, so, and so move you over there. Speedo, move you over there. Uh, go over there. Okay. Okay, provoked. That means we send you... Um, send you over there. That way we're not crossing over, but we're just standing behind the, the turret over here. Again, triggering all the traps. And then you got shot quite a bit. How is this one doing? You're still going for Darknesia, so we're just putting Darknesia behind the door. That means this one gets confused, standing around a little bit. And just getting shot. Okay, Speedo is now the target, so we can get you out again. Putting Speedo behind the door here. Um, actually, I'm going to put everybody behind the door. Brandon? Brandon? Yes. Okay, Agnesia is now here to be provoked, so can go out, go, no, no, trombos are quick. And we ran out of power, <laughs> no, 
Why, oh why? That was not, not, not smart. That was not good. So, we're not generating power. We are done storing power. We definitely need this. Um, so, Brandon, you have been hit. So I'm gonna make you flick switches. Eternal child, you are gonna go over there. And so, why are you not armed? Why are you not armed? You should have a weapon. That definitely makes fighting easier, doesn't it? You're not really good at hitting stuff, but we'll give you a, a charge rifle nonetheless, and you got at least spray and pray kind of going. Oh, yeah, one of these has been damaged. That's not good. Okay, so Dr. Nessia over here. Your left foot got torn off. That makes moving around a bit, bit more difficult. Okay, so you are now on the list for a bionic left leg. So you'll be faster afterwards. Also, you need a bionic eye. Do we have bionic eyes yet? No, we don't. Okay. Okay. But for now, we'll keep you there. Then at least maybe we can poke in from behind. Eternal Child is gonna go there. Speedo will put you in the door there. Okay, so we're just gonna ping pong a little bit. Darknesia, you can take one step to the front. Speedo is gonna be there. You are actually picking up a weapon. That does so add to our firepower if everybody actually has a weapon. A closed door. We shoot. Yeah, okay, so maybe put you in the middle there, then at least we can ping pong you from three directions. Okay. Um, if these generators go on, we might get a little bit of power from some of the turrets every once in a while. Okay, get you out, get you out. Okay, get you back in. You are going for Eternal Child. Who is now stepping back. Definitely works. Okay, so Wamol, you have a gun. You are back in the army. You're in the army now. Brendan, you are taking it easy. You're going into it. Not working. Magnesia is stepping out. Yep. What are you doing now? You're going after Speedo. Okay, that means you step to the side here. Moving. Whoa. Too close. And dead. Well, that was a bit more eventful than I was hoping for, but we did manage to pull through. Disable the guns. And we have a lot more work to do here. Uh, medical patient awaiting operations. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't do that. When power is difficult. Because we do want good light here. So I'm actually cancelling the bionic leg for now. And we just need to have someone attend to you. So both Darknesia and Brandon are out. That leaves us with Wemmel and Enzo. Enzo is the current best doctor we have watching for targets okay you are treating darkness yeah okay and then you're treating brandon hey darkness yeah already recovered yeah bob can't really do a lot without the left foot so you're slow but we'll fix you up Tomorrow, you have been tended to. We need to queue up some some building blocks over here. Just to uh, insulate against 
the cold. And then we hold the blocks that we got out of the wall. Then at least this building project has been queued up again. So, Trumbo Hunt, some energy efficiency. And just, no, just more, more economy stuff. We have a larger storage space for building materials now, which is useful. Because most of the time, no, we don't want them in our main storage. We just want them out here so it's easier to hold them out and hold them in. And I think you know, with this much power, we will probably want to invest more into our energy infrastructure. I think we're going to put another uh, wind turbine next here. Yes. Like that. Oh, uh, there's a, a wall. So can we make it? Hmm. I think they should be able to share the empty space. We'll do it like this. Queue up more power, then maybe put some solar there. But at least, well, we'll have a pretty good extra source of energy to charge up our batteries when we need them most. But with that, we're going to put an end to this episode. So, as always, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again next time. But hopefully, we'll get to Pot Raiders. And I regret ever speaking these wishful words. See you next time. Bye-bye.